what's good pretty game welcome back to my channel it's pretty my and today i'm gonna be showing y'all how i installed this curly bob from ali pro hair i really like this hair it's actually supposed to be 18 inches it does look a little shorter but i really like the look of the bob and it's like the perfect style for summer as you guys could see um it's very natural looking and full so just keep watching if you guys want more details on this hair and if you want to see how i installed this wig so this is everything that came in the packaging. It came with the melt band, which a lot of brands are including nowadays, and I really appreciate that. It also came with the silk wrap, some lashes, and these wig caps. I used the wig cap, and then I immediately started applying makeup on it because I wanted it to match my skin better. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I don't do the ball cap method. I just do a regular cap with makeup because I wear so many wigs it would literally tear my edges out if I did the ball cap method. But this is the wig. It looks so natural. Like it looks like real 4B for a curly hair. Um, so I really like this. It's very similar to my natural curl pattern, but it's just so, so thick. Um, that was the one thing about it. I installed this wig using got to be. I didn't want to use real glue because I was going to take it off the next day. But all I'm doing here is applying one thin layer of got to be gel. And then on half of my head, I'm doing an additional layer of the got to be spray. And that's just because I'm going to be installing it section by section. Really, I just did one half and then I did the other. So for this first half, like I said, I did the gel and then immediately I did the spray right after. And then I just pushed the wig into the gel and i blow dried it on hot until it melted the ear tab didn't want to stick down but everything else ended up melting perfectly and this is i believe an hd wig i would check the description box it definitely has more details whether it's hd or not but i believe this is an hd wig and then i'm repeating that method on the other side but because it is hd it melts so nice and it's just like a perfect melt and I also didn't have to pluck this wig too much, but it is bleached, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it actually came pre-plugged, which was really nice. And you can already tell, even though it's not done, that it's just like a really naturally plucked hairline. And then this is me just touching up that ear tab that wouldn't stay down. I just went ahead and did one more layer of the spray and blow dried that into place. And then I did one more spray around the entire perimeter and then I attached the melt band just to hold everything into place and get that to melt. And I blow dried on high heat one more time just to make sure everything was solidified and that my wig wouldn't move during styling. So for styling, I went ahead and parted the wig completely in half and did a ponytail up top so I could define all the curls on the bottom. You really have to define this wig section by section because like I said, it's so thick. And even after you define it later on during the day, it gets so big. Like it's, if you don't like a lot of hair, this is not gonna be the wig for you, but I do like high density hair. It may have been better for winter in Florida, but it's definitely a really high quality wig and it's worth the price. So all I did was separate the hair into two sections after I did this a half up, half down. And I'm doing a leave-in conditioner on top of water. And then I also did apply a gel, but I didn't get any images of the products. And I'm sorry about that, but it's the same as my curly technique that I always use on all my wigs. Um, I just do water, a leave-in, and then I did a super lightweight gel just to hold everything into place. And I'm doing that same method on the other side. I'm just going to repeat this throughout the whole head while brushing everything in to really define those curls with my Denman brush. And I'm gonna just let you guys kind of watch this because it's very repetitive. In between the sections, I wanted to kind of hot comb to make sure that it laid flat. And I took a wax stick and a hot comb and just flattened out these sections. I'm not doing it in any specific technique, just section by section once I got to the lace. But I just wanted to let you guys know that's kind of what I'm doing in between the curl defining.
Okay, and then after I defined that last section, I just went in with that wax stick and I'm just hot combing the part to make everything lay flat. I could get this wig super flat, but like I was telling you guys earlier, throughout the day, it's definitely not going to stay this way. It really mimics natural hair and it does not like to stay flat and it does not like to stay small. Like it gets big throughout the day, but I really do love this wig and I love the look of this bob. After I took off this lace band, I went ahead and began to work on my edges, like the baby hairs. And I just used Got To Be for this. The best method when you're using Got To Be to install is to also use Got To Be for the edges. So I went ahead and used my Got To Be gel to do baby hairs on the one side that is really showing. And then I did a little swoop on the other side, but you guys will see that. Um, just keep watching. This is, I don't really show any new technique here. It's just basic baby hairs. But um, after this, the hairstyle is pretty much done. Okay, so after I did the baby hairs, I'm just doing some finishing touches with the hot comb, just making sure everything looks really flat and sleek. And then right here, I'm taking Got To Be Spray on my fingertip and I'm pressing it into this part of the lace just to make sure that the front of my wig is not visible. I really wanted it to blend and I felt like this part kind of lifted a little during hot combing. But after everything is done, this is how the hair was looking. It is a little damp in this footage, but that's just so it keeps its shape and size. And you can see it's really pretty. It does look really gorgeous when it dries as well. It kind of dries in the same curl pattern. But like I was telling you guys, it does get a little bigger throughout the day. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think of this hair. I absolutely love this wig. And the link to it will be down below in the description box if you guys want to learn more about it or purchase this wig. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time I post a video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.